where are we? We're day four of the journey. I think day three now of the running. And we've got, I think, I think somewhere about 33 miles, 33, 35 miles to run today. Um, we did, it was supposed to be a 49 mile yesterday from Izacha to Brea. We're currently in Brea in a hotel here in the town. We shortened that a little bit. Legs were getting a little bit tired. And the one thing about this run is, it doesn't matter how fast you go. It doesn't matter oh, anything really apart from just the only thing is getting from A to B and being, you know, self-preservation. So you have to be in good sort of one piece at the end of day and then get ready to go again the next day. That's all that matters. So I called it a bit early yesterday because I could feel the tendons grumbling a bit. I didn't want to push it too much this early into it. So we've got a bit more to do today. Um, but we've sort of, I've sort of settled into a bit of a rhythm where I'm, I'm doing what I did for the Thames 100 miler, which is sort of breaking into five mile chunks and doing four miles running and then a mile walking just to ease off the legs a bit. So we're looking at, you know, five, probably about five, six hours today, something like that. No, seven, seven hours today. Um, which they're long days and it's get break into the heat. But it's the best way to do it. Just got to, you know, just look at the mile in front of you and not worry about that sort of overall time, just getting to A to B and feel good by the end, ready to go again the next day. I'm tired today. I, um, yeah, this is, this is where it starts to get real, you know. You could start to feel bits of the body being a little bit more unhappy, like the two tendons that go down across the top of the sort of hood of the foot, in the foot into the shin, those start to grumble a bit. The outside of the knees start to grumble a bit. Everything else? Kind of okay, you've got, um, I've chafed my bum cheeks, which is not great, but <laughs> I've never had that before. For some reason I've got a little bit of sweaty, chafy bum cheeks here. And, you know, little things like the way the bottles sit on my chest, they're just, they're bashing in a little bit. All of those things, they're good. this is what's gonna happen, you know, and you just have to work out how to deal with it, try and fix it as you can on the move, and if you can't fix it, you've just gotta suck it up. So, I feel a bit sick at the moment. My tummy's a bit, in turmoil, it happened a little bit yesterday, I think it's just nerves. You're sort of a bit nervous until you get out there. Regular, usually once you start moving, it's okay, but to, today on the agenda, we're gonna go from Brea to Stankucha, is it John? Yeah, Stankucha. And I think we're gonna be running similar routes as we ran yesterday. We're sort of running on top of this dam. It's basically got forest on one side and the river just the other side of the forest. Sometimes you break up and see the forest. On the left-hand side, you've got fields and crops and you're on your own on this kind of track um, trail it was beautiful and it sort of skirts the river very closely almost no one there no buildings no people you know every now and again you come across a sort of an old farmhouse or a really old sort of sketchy looking makeshift stick park camp thing and it was, be it was beautiful absolutely beautiful so I think we've got a bit more of that today after we leave and then we get our way through the town worries ahead of today Dogs, again, you know, we encountered a, a pretty gnarly dog yesterday that came after us, chased the car, chased me, bared its teeth. Um, it, it's just not nice, it's just not nice. And it's not even just when it actually happens, it's the fear that it might happen, that you're running with constantly. Every time you come up to a building, you're looking, you have to look for the gates are open, you sort of size it up to see if there's a potential sort of dog in there, and you just don't know, and it, that, that, that fear is, isn't good. It also breaks up your momentum because you have to walk past those houses because you can't run. So whilst the dogs are there, you need to be walking otherwise they will chase you. So that's a bit rubbish. Um, the other things I'm just concerned about is just making sure that the legs settle today. Um, but it's new sock day. I've got clean socks on today. So there's a bonus. That's a plus. And it feels a bit cooler as well. We're going to go out it's about six, five to six now in the morning, so we'll be out from started by sort of half six, quarter to seven or something, and then we'll get on the road. So, yeah, I feel good. I feel good. I'm tired, no doubt about it, but um, that was always going to be expected. So, looking forward to another day on the trails, and it's always better once you're moving. So, let's go and do it. Okay. So back to where we finished yesterday we came off the ferry and I stopped down here um, and got in the car and then we went to the hotel so today we go from here to where am I going Stankucha Stankucha um, 33 miles it's like 7 in the morning or something it's nice and cool and it's time to 
go and have a crack. Come on, let's do some more running. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just in the car, met John after a stretch in the wilderness and I basically decided that there's two ways you can do this stretch. You can do it along the top of the dam which runs closer to the river but there's a there's the threat of the dogs and um, I had two sort of encounters back there for that last sort of 10 mile stretch and I think it's just made me think actually do you know what I need to get some momentum so I'm going back out onto the road. So I'll deal with the cars instead. I don't think the main road's going to be that busy. It's a bit longer actually on the main road than on the, on the dam. It's absolutely not as pretty, which is a shame. But I just, for that stretch, I just didn't feel safe for a while. And it was, um, yeah, it was getting me down. So I'm going to go and change it up and go onto the road. Um, yeah, so that's it. So we've got about 15 miles to go. It's about half 11. Temperatures out there are going to top 30 easily. It's already 29, but I've just had to melt the cola bottles have melted in the car that's how hot it is anyway i'm gonna go out there and get myself melty see you on the other side day today I mean another long one in the bank but it was very very hot I think out there on the roads it's about 32 degrees it's kind of a mixed bag today running out of the town was quite sort of busy and a bit gnarly got out a bit of dual carriageway and then hit some routes were like on top of the dam a bit like yesterday's routes and that was great apart from the fact that there was a few sort of dog encounters that left me feeling a bit exposed we met a guy just before I went on today who said that he advised us not to run it to run the road because of the dogs it wasn't that bad but I just can't running with the fear you know it's not a great place to be so I decided after a while just to join the road again go back on a big main road and it's sort of like a big two lane road by the one here where the cars drive that fast but it was kind of okay but very hot um, I'm tired today now brain is a bit frazzled feet have got a couple of blisters heels are a bit sore um, but glad that we've done that one that's another long one and I think the benefit of these if I'm looking on the bright side is that some of these long days when I get to do like a regular marathon it's going to make everything feel a bit shorter so anyway I'll have to get some water to recuperate and we'll go again tomorrow